So in this video, we are going to cover how to predict products for decomposition reactions. And before we get into that, let's first talk about what the word decomposition means. If you are decomposing or if something is decomposing, that means to break down. So when you think of breaking down, you think of having one thing as a starting point and it breaking down into multiple parts, right? So we are going to, it's exactly what these reactions look like. A decomposition reaction is a single reactant. So one reactant um, for a practice problem, let's just say that it is calcium carbonate. Okay, so this is what it might look like. Very, very obvious that it's decomposition because it's going to have just one reactant. It's the only reaction that starts with one thing. And we are going to break this down into multiple products, but in our case, we are going to stick to two different products. So the way that this might look, this is going to break down into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. So we started with one reactant, in our case for this class, we are going to have it always break down into two products. Okay, so it's very obvious when you have a decomposition reaction just given the reactants because there's one of them. But to help you, because this isn't an obvious breakdown, um, you have on your reference sheet something that looks like this. It tells you exactly how to break down specific compounds and you will be using this um, for this video as well as your assignments and quizzes and tests. The only thing is for this class, we are not going to hit the acids. We are actually going to skip over the acids and focus on the other four. Okay, so if you want to cross this out, you can cross that out for this class. We just aren't going to get to them. So why don't we try doing some practice problems using this sheet. So make sure you keep this out. So let's try some practice problems with predicting products for decomposition reactions. So before we get into the predicting products, the four examples that I have here in front of you, we know that they're all decomposition because there is one single reactant. It's going to be very clear when we get into the other types of reactants when there's a decomposition because there is one reactant and that is very unique to decomposition reactions. So remember, decomposition reactions, we are going to start with one reactant and we are going to break this down into two or more. We are going to stick with just two products being made, but there are some decomposition that will make more than two. You are going to need to use your predicting products reference sheet. This is located on the back of that sheet to help you with predicting the products um, for these problems and the problems on assignments and quizzes. So we're going to practice using these. We're going to start up here. We have silver oxide. Silver oxide is located actually on this reference sheet under oxides. Remember oxides are any compound that contains oxygen. This is not an oxide, this is hydroxide. If it's just an element with oxygen, that falls under an oxide. If you need to, if you don't know the difference, name them. You know, this would be silver oxide, this would be magnesium hydroxide. This is different than this. Hydroxide actually has its own category. So we are here under oxides. So an oxide is going to decompose into oxygen gas. So we know that one of the products is going to be O2. And if you are forgetting that oxygen gas is O2, because we're forgetting our diatomic elements, go ahead and write that in here so that you remember. And then we are going to break it down. So we're breaking it down into oxygen gas and another element. So the other element that we have and our reactant is silver, so that is going to be our other product. And silver is not diatomic, which is why I'm leaving it as AG. And then obviously we would need to balance that 
but we are not focusing on balancing right now. We're just predicting products. And those are the products for that decomposition reaction. So let's try the next one, NaCl. This is sodium chloride, and it is not located on this list. There are going to be many decomposition reactions that are not located on this list. But you need to be careful because this is chloride and chlorates is on this list. This is chlorate, this is chloride. This is not the same. So we are not using these to break down sodium chloride. When you have something that's not on this sheet, you just break it into its parts, kind of like what we did up here. So we're going to break this apart so we get sodium by itself and we get chlorine by itself. Now chlorine, you need to know, is a diatomic element, so it is going to appear as Cl2. And that is how you would break that down. So these are actually fairly simple. If they're not on this list, you literally just break them apart. But be weary of the diatomics. So let's try this next one here. We have potassium chlorate. So that is right here, we have chlorates. Now chlorates decompose into oxygen gas again, so that is one of our products. And it breaks down into a chloride. So again, a chloride is going to be something that is bonded to a chlorine. In this case, it's going to be potassium. So you always take the metal and bond it to that chlorine to make a chloride. Now since we made a new compound, we need to crisscross. So potassium is a plus one, chlorine is a minus one. Those are equal and opposite, they do cancel out. So the, um, the products for this reaction are going to be oxygen gas and potassium chloride, and that's it. Let's try this fourth one here. We have magnesium hydroxide. Hydroxide is on this list here. Um, we have hydroxides decompose into water and an oxide. So hydroxide decompose into water. We know water is H2O. And an oxide. So we are going to bond something to an oxygen to form that oxide. The only thing left that we need in our products is this magnesium. So that is what is going to bond to that oxygen. Now we made a new compound, so we need to crisscross. Magnesium is a plus two, oxygen is a minus two. Those are equal and opposite, they cancel out. So we are left with just MgO. So again, this hydroxide is going to decompose into water and an oxide, and that is how you predict products for decomposition reactions. So why don't you try these three practice problems, pause the video, try them on your own. I will leave these up in case you don't have your reference sheet, and then hit play when you are ready for the answers. So we are going to start with the first one. This is barium carbonate, and I did not do a carbonate, so we are going to look on this list here, and we're going to do carbonates for the first time here. So carbonates decompose into carbon dioxide, so that is our first product, and an oxide. Now to make an oxide, you are going to bond something to an oxygen, and in this case, we are going to bond the barium. And since we made a new compound, we need to crisscross. So barium, you know, is a plus two, oxygen is a minus two. Those are equal and opposite. They cancel out to give us just BAO. And those are the products for that decomposition reaction. This next one here is a hydroxide, that's aluminum hydroxide. Hydroxides decompose into water, so you should have gotten H2O as a product, and an oxide. So that again is something that is going to bond to an oxygen. In this case, it's going to be the aluminum. Aluminum, well, let's go back a second. Since we made a new compound, we need to crisscross. So aluminum, you know, is a plus three, oxygen is a minus two, 
When we crisscross, you should have gotten Al2O3. Last one here, this is lithium chlorate. Chlorate is on this list. Chlorates decompose into oxygen gas, so you should have gotten O2 as one of your products. Um, and a chloride, so that is something that's bonded to chlorine. In this case, it's going to be the lithium. And since we made a new compound, we need to crisscross. So lithium is a plus one, chlorine is a minus one. Those are equal and opposite. They cancel out to leave us just with LiCl. And that is how you predict products for decomposition reactions.